So let's jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn from mid-July to the end of July? I'm not going to take that. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, North Node, or if you're cross-watching for a Capricorn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for mid-July to the end of July? Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Mid-July to the end of July. I'm going to pull three cards. I'm going to pull this one. This one. And that one. So, for Capricorn, mid-July to the end of July, I have the Three of Wands, I have the Eight of Wands, I have the Ace of Cups with the star at the bottom of the deck. I have every Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aquarius. Somebody did something off of their emotion. Somebody did something. Somebody said something. I heard Rampage. Somebody did something or said something. I heard because of love. Somebody's actually in love. I heard Impulsive. Somebody could have did something or said something off of impulse and emotions. I heard judging. Somebody could have did something or said something. And I feel like people could be judging a person. Another message I'm getting, somebody could be actually waiting to hear from a person. Or you, or you could be trying to bait somebody in. Somebody could feel like, okay, if we really love each other, if we really are meant to be with each other, they're going to reach out to me. They're going to, I'm going to hear from them. They're going to return back to me. You could be expressing that you love somebody. Or whatever you're expressing i heard or delivering it could be people around feel like yeah you in love you may not look at it that way but whoever's around you whoever you're talking to they looking at you like yeah if you doing all this saying all this you must be in love and i heard they must have broke your heart Yeah, somebody could be, I heard, still talking negatively about a person. But whoever you you talking negatively about, whoever's listening to you, they feel like your heart is broken. You're not the same anymore. 
somebody haven't had a bath in almost two weeks because of this situation. Between one or four days, somebody probably haven't had a, a shower or a bath in like five days. Between one to 14 days, somebody has not had a, a, a bath or a shower. Somebody could be su suffering from like a heartbreak. I heard betrayal. Somebody could have like betrayed the person that they're in love with. I heard the devil made me do it. Whoever saying like the devil made them do it. Um me personally. A lot of people may not agree with I, with what I'm about to say, but whatever. Ain't no such thing as um the devil. God and the devil is you. Like everybody have a good side. And everybody have like a shadow side, right? So, instead of this person taking accountability and like you saying like, yeah, I fucked up, I messed up. Somebody is like, I feel like they blaming the devil. The devil made me do it. The devil is taking over me. No, your shadow side, your dark side has taken over you. Period. Somebody is caught in between. It's like uh, whoever this person is, they have like the uh, angel on a on one shoulder and like the devil on the other shoulder, and I feel like they um uh, they gravitate more towards the devil on their right shoulder. This person know the difference between like good and evil or what's right and what's wrong. But they, I feel like they enjoy like being wrong or doing wrong. I heard wrong to others. They enjoy like fucking over people. But now... I heard this is a wake up call because I feel like this person, they actually hurt and betrayed like a person that they love. I heard went to the extreme. And it's like deep down, somebody is in love. Somebody could be actually fighting, you know, um, not to be in love. Because they know like, okay, if I surrender to Capricorn or someone in regards to Capricorn, if I surrender, then I know that I'm not going to be able to be mischievous and devious to people no more. Especially to the one I love. But with all these major arcanas out here, I heard stopped. This person will be stopped. This person is actually being stopped now to where um, they can't even focus right now or they can't even go to work or make money right now because of this situation. I heard still somebody is still tripping over this situation, but I feel like this is what people feel like. Like you still talking about Capricorn or you still worrying about Capricorn or Capricorn this is you still worrying about somebody else. And I feel like whoever you're talking about, I heard venting to. They even feel like you, you full of trouble. I heard somebody needs help. Capricorn, I feel like you know this. You know you need help. I feel like that's why you talking to, you could be talking to a lot of people because you really need help. But I feel like you're going about it the wrong way. The person that 
you're in love with it's like you talking to everybody else but the person that you're in love with I heard you talking to people that don't even have good intentions for you I heard don't even like you you even are reaching out and like complaining about the person that you in love with to people that don't even like you. I heard neither one of y'all. You talking to people that don't care about you or the person you in love with. I heard they don't even care about what neither one of y'all got going on. I heard especially you. Whoever you talking to, they even look at you like, I heard you untrustworthy or you got to be trusted. And whoever you talking to, they even question about the, the person that you in love with. They even feel like, were y'all even talking or dating? Because they feel like the person that you actually in love with, they feel like that person don't even pay you no attention. Or that person don't seem bothered by you. But you're bothered by this person. But yeah, who I heard still. It's like whoever you're calling, I heard they not calling you. These people not calling you or they don't call you. But you, you go out your way to like call these people. And I heard they don't even care for you. I heard you know that. You know this. You know that these people like don't like you. Or the person that you're, that you're in love with. I heard enemies of the state. You feel like you and the person that you in love with, y'all are like enemies of the state. Or even if you don't feel this way, I'm telling you, like, it's people that don't like you and the person that you in love with. And whatever you're doing towards the person that you in love with, I feel like you're making the situation even worse. Because it's, it's people out here that already don't care for you or them. Somebody can, can be on some shit like, you know what? Honestly, I know these people don't care for me or my person. So, we might as well just be together. I heard outcasts. You feel like people look at y'all as the outcasts. Capricorn, you could always feel different or out of place around like a group of people that you hang with. I heard used to hang with. But I feel like you were still kind of latching on to these people or being around these people. I heard to look cool. I heard you didn't want to feel left out. You just didn't want to feel left out. Or you didn't want people to... Like, misjudge you. But something, I don't know what happened to where now you feel how the person you in love with, how you feel how they feel. Somebody could have, the person that you in love with, I feel like you already knew that don't nobody care for them or like them. Or people look at them like they weird or strange. And whatever happened. Because I, I do feel like something happened. Whatever happened. I feel like now. You feeling this way as well. Like. I'm going around talking about the person I love. To people that don't even care about me. I feel like you know this. I feel like you even know the reason why these people don't care about you.
you feel as though now it's clear that me and my lover, we're the outcast. I heard black bald or black sheep. You're realizing that like you're no different from the person that you in love with. Another message. You could already know why the person that you in love with is like moving a certain way or behaving a certain way. Or don't eat, or you know why your person that you in love with, you know why they don't like communicate with certain people or hang out with certain people. I feel like at first you thought it was weird that the person that you in love with don't hang with a certain a, a certain type of people or be around a certain group of people. But I feel like now you know why I heard don't fuck around. Like you even know why the person you in love with don't fuck around no more. Or somebody could be going through an awakening. I feel like now shit is starting to make sense to you. At first you didn't you didn't understand or realize like what was going on. But I feel like now everything is starting to make sense to you. Now you connecting the dots. Like, okay, I see why my person don't associate I heard with these type of people. Somebody is going through a huge shift in their life to where it's like the people that they praised or talked to or hung out with, they're going to be looking at these people from like a whole new set of lenses. I heard coming to the light. It's like somebody is, now somebody is coming into the light. And now... Yeah, it's like you just understand the person that you're in love with even more. I heard more than ever. I feel like at first you didn't understand them. I heard and why they was behaving this way. But it makes sense. Somebody feel like the world is just fucked up. You could have even heard things about the person that you in love with. And I feel like now it's even making sense. Like, I heard I actually know them and the things people said about them, that's fucked up. Or even the things I said about them, that's fucked up. Somebody looking at like people like differently. Like people are just so full of hate, jealousy, envy. And I heard they just be chilling. I I heard I know this for a fact that I heard scrutinize scrutiny. I heard defamation of character. I feel like a few people had things to say about the person that you in love with. To where now, spirit is, is showing light or bringing light to you and like the people you have around you. You looking at life and people like, damn, that's fucked up. People really judge other people about by how they look, they the way they dress. I said, I heard how they talk, and they don't even know this person. That's fucked up. I heard, and I did the same shit as well. Wow. Yeah, um, now 
Now, Capricorn, you starting to feel like you and the person you in love with, y'all don't belong here. Or, um, I heard different, like, y'all are different from society. I heard everything is now making sense. And whoever you in love with, it's a possibility that y'all might come back together. And when y'all come back together, you're not going to want this person to work. How you look at Capricorn, if if this is a Capricorn male, somebody is like traditional. They feel like the, now they feel like, you know, I believe like the man should be the provider and protector. Whoever you in love with, you just feel like this person needs somebody to protect them. You feel like the person you're in love with, they're so special. I have the star card at the bottom of the deck. This reading ain't going to resonate for everybody. I have the star card, star card at the bottom of the deck. And you just feel like this person is so special to where I need to watch over them. I need to provide for them. I heard I want to be their guardian angel. Yeah, I may end up moving because I heard this. Y'all may end up moving away together. Because you just feel like this world. I heard misguided to where you even got sucked up into like society and you Capricorn you feel like you was always different as well I heard everybody's just the same I heard blended in. Like you just you just wanted to blend in. But I feel like the reason why you blended in for so long, cause you haven't found somebody that's like different like you. Or that's into different things like you. I feel like even the type of music that you listen to is different. But it's like you you always knew you was different. And you came across somebody that was like different like you. Right? But it's, it's like somehow, some way, you got sucked in to like a way of being. To where you was just being your inauthentic self for like a very long time. So when you came across this person, you realized like you couldn't treat this person like how you treat everybody else. Because you feel like everybody else, they are the same. Everybody else, I heard react. They react the same way and everything. But when you met this person... I feel like you even tested this person too. And the things that they were doing or saying, you just realize, okay, maybe I did find the one. But you, it's like you didn't want to accept it or you didn't want to believe it. So you could have been doing things to like another person. I heard to push them away or to get you to get them out of your life because you feel like they were different and weird or, or strange. You even felt that way, too. But now with this new awakening, 
you now you all look at everybody else like they're the ones that's weird and strange. It, I don't know. It's something like that going on here. Yeah, uh, I heard Bonnie and Clyde, the outcast. And people could have looked at your person, the person that you in love with, people could have looked at them like, yeah, they not cool. They're lame. They are square. They don't know nobody. And in Capricorn, I feel like you got a chance to know this person. And whatever you found out about this person, you want some shit like, if you know what I know about them, they act, they more cooler than you. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve like you. Or somebody could have told you this about the person that you're in love with. Like, they weird, they strange. They don't, they not cool. They don't know nobody. And you, now, and I feel like you could have agreed with them as well. But now since somebody's going through an awakening, they feel, Capricorn, you feel like it, it was an honor to actually meet a person like them because I heard it ain't too many of them. And it's like the person that says it's about the person you're in love with. I heard, and did you look at yourself in the mirror lately? Because you a hot ass mess. And you got your nurse say this about them? And look at you. But um, that's all I have for this reading, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye-bye.